Can the vasectomy be reversed? The simple answer is yes, but unfortunately simple questions don't always have a simple answer to this. My name is Dr. Wing Chen. I'm a fertility specialist at Melbourne IVF, as well as an obstetrician gynecologist and a laparoscopic surgeon. There are many different reasons why a couple choose to have a vasectomy and afterwards choose to have a vasectomy re reversal. That may be changes to um, the dynamics of a family or someone may choose to start a new family. And this can affect the choice of what one chooses to help them fall pregnant in the future as a result. Um, the important thing to decide while why you choose to have a vasectomy reversal really depends on a multitude of factors. And the important things to also consider is whether or not there's any pre-existing male factor issues, such as difficulty falling pregnant in the past, whether there's any, been any fertility management on the male partner point of view, as well as not to forget the, one of the most important factors, the female side of things. The success, the success of a vasectomy reversal often depends a lot on the female factors more often than not. And this can include the age of the partner. If the woman is above 37, above 40, sometimes the options of artificial, um, assisted reproductive technologies might be a better option. The other reasons also might depend on how fast does the couple want to start conceiving and starting a family. The pre-existence of other female issues such as PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome, endometriosis, tubal issues can also play an important part and this all needs to be addressed um, with your fertility specialist as a whole and not just, just dealing with the issue of it not, um, can sperm be obtained because there are other options to obtaining a sperm and this can include a simple fine needle testicular biopsy to obtain sperm. Once you've made your decision to have a vasectomy reversal, often the next step is to see a fertility specialist or a surgeon or a urologist who specializes in reversing um, the previous surgery. Often there's a consult about this and they will explain the process to you. Now the process of reversing a vasectomy is quite simple and it's not a major surgery. It involves connecting the previous obstruction and the vas deferens and checking at the same time whether there's any blockage there because before the, the vasectomy um, obstruction site or just beyond the obstruction site and during the process they make certain also that the tubes are patent. This involves microsurgery which can take about a couple of hours and it's done often under a general it's done under a general anesthetic and often it's done as a day procedure. Once a couple have decided to consider a vasectomy reversal as the choice of management, the next step would be to discuss this further with a fertility specialist or a urologist or a vasectomy reversal specialist. The process of a vasectomy reversal is quite simple. It involves a day procedure in the majority of cases and it's done under a general anaesthetic. The process involves um, basically getting rid of the obstruction with the surgery and reconnecting the tubes or the vest basically and to rule out any obstruction that may occur just before or after down the track from the tube point of view. It's done as a day procedure as mentioned and the men is recommended to go home and get a good rest for a week or two and that's to avoid any strenuous work because as a result of the very fine surgery where the tubes are reconnected with very fine sutures this can sometimes be disrupted and the aim is to avoid this happening. Um, the surgeon may recommend not to have intercourse for the first two weeks or so and then they will do a test to check whether the sperm is obtained from a semen analysis from ejaculation and different surgeons may also recommend when to start conceiving. So as mentioned, basically this is a question that you would discuss with your doctor who reverses the um, vasectomy. What's the success of reversal of a vasectomy? The main factor can affect, that can affect this is basically the time since the onset of the actual primary surgery to, to basically cut the best efforts of the vasectomy. When did it occur? The longer it is, potentially the success rate can go down. The issue is whether or not what is the measure of success. Is it patency of the tube or the ability to achieve a pregnancy? 
So in the majority of cases, up to 90% even, the tubes can be reconnected and it can work. But the pregnancy rates can be a bit lower. It can be between 70 to 30% depending on the time frame this has been done. What is the success of a vasectomy reversal? The success of a vasectomy reversal really depends on how long ago was the vasectomy first done. The closer to it, when the, sur the surgery was initially done, the higher the success rate, and it can be up to 90% in the first three years or so. Over time, the success rate of maintaining the patency can actually drop and the reversal, um, the reversal rates can be down to 70%. But the issue is not really about is it a patency issue? Because the main factor we need to think about is about achieving a pregnancy. So the, the thing that we have, to con we have to bear in mind is what is the measure of success, patency or a pregnancy? The pregnancy rates can be lower. And assuming that there's no female factor issues involved, the rates of success initially can be up to 70% to dropping to about 30% over time. Now, why is this? There may be other factors. There might be um, microscopic damage to the testis and as a result there might be sperm antibodies that are formed there might be a lower sperm count that occurs or there can be a combination of factors also now all of this takes time to rule out and make sure that there isn't any issues and to investigate further and this all also affects the success of the partner achieving a pregnancy because there's time is affected some, for some people, the ability to conceive also deteriorates from a female point of view also. The other issue is also sometimes the ability to, to cause a re-anastomosis or rejoin the tubes might not be um, fully achievable and then the question is whether or not one will pursue another repeat surgery and this will be discussed again with a reversal specialist or whether or not they would choose to do other options such as um, assisted reproductive technologies such as IVF and ICSI as a result. The alternative of obtaining sperm for these people might include a simple day procedure, a procedure case done under a local anaesthetic where there's a fine needle aspiration of the testes to get the sample. And often there's enough sperm collected in these simple procedures to allow for a couple of cycles of IVF and to start a new family for some people. And that process might be less arduous and sometimes very cost effective for them also. So the, the choice to choose a vasectomy reversal or um, approaching someone else for assisted reproductive options really boils down to what the wishes of the couple are. Obviously, if a person is wanting to conceive naturally or if they're trying to avoid the use of any medications and so on, then a vasectomy reversal is obviously a very good option. Some people have personal beliefs or religious beliefs where um, assisted reproductive options may not be an option for them and again a vasectomy is an option. But for others um, where time is a factor or if there's any other um, additional issues from a female point of view or family point of view such as you know genetic testing and so on that might be required, um, then assisted reproductive um, options are a very viable and a very successful option and in today's climate also a very um, cost-effective option compared to having the surgery done to reverse vasectomy. I hope you found this video useful and if you like please subscribe to our channel.